Okay, guys, so uh, OAC Divisionals, you guys had a pretty tough bracket today. Yeah, we had six old kids, three of them state places. When you look at Max Seiko and his development, you know, he took fifth at the OAC last year. Yep. Okay, and, and that's the, all the divisions together. Today in his division, he took third. Right. Right? And, and the, the bracket had the returning champ, right, from, from OAC. They had third, fifth, and sixth. So when you look at three placers from the from the big, the whole one, it's all combined in one division. He had a really good bracket today, but it's toned down from what it normally is at the, you know, obviously in Youngstown. What did you like about OEC and how they did divisionals today? Uh, it just gives it a little bit of a look on what the future brings. If these kids stay in the schools that they're at, and you can see, you know, I know who maxing at the Russell in the state championships is in high school, you know, if we make it that far, you'll bless it. Um, but it's just a nice little twist on it, you know. And the other thing, too, though, is the age divisions are different. So like D1, there's no D1 here. It's, you know, D2 is second grade and under. So the first graders get lumped back in with the uh, older guys. Some of those guys in that bracket will be in the state bracket. As a matter of fact, only one will be. That's crazy, yeah. right? But I mean, but he's getting really good competition. He's getting beat. You know, you take him to Tulsa. You take him to a lot. Do you take him to Reno too? Did you go to no, Reno? Be Reno. Reno's okay. coming up in April. So you're doing all this stuff together as a father-son tandem and you're, you're mixing a little business with pleasure, right? It's what? All business with pleasure, yeah. <laughs> what has that been like mixing in defense soap and Max Seiko and father and being a father? And there's three things you're mixing in there, right? Well, I, I, I'm really uh, fortunate with my wife. She she can run the table. She can she can handle it. She's a trooper. You know, she's up at six o'clock in the morning putting everything together. So all I got to worry about is getting Max's head on straight and go wrestle matches. So that makes it easy. And I would tell you, you know, it's my second time around with, with these little guys. A lot easier this time. When you look at uh, being a father, being a coach, because there's times where I, you won't talk to me because you're like, hey, man, I got guys. I got guys coming up. I can't talk to you, right? How do you how do you mix it all in there, and how do you keep this perfect balance that it seems like you have? Yeah, it's, it's what we do. I mean, when it's your wife, and that's what you do, and that's just what you do. It's pretty easy. I'm, I'm blessed. I got a really easy life. I sell soap to wrestlers and fighters. I coach wrestlers, and I'm a wrestler, so it makes it easy. Okay, and then, you know, you retired being a police officer for 25 years in Cleveland. It's not the greatest city to be a police officer, and, you know, it's, there's, there's things that can happen. How, what do you think you've taken from that and applied to the business world and wrestling? What do you think? Uh, well, when you got to be tough, you be tough, and when you got to be compassionate, be compassionate. And, you know, one thing that people think I, I don't, I think a lot before I say things. So, so people think I'm like, what's going on in that head there? But that's from being a policeman. You have to really think out what you're doing. And you have to do things with a split decision, obviously. But you have to control things. And the way you control things is by slowing things down. Um, and I use that a lot in business, believe it or not. I'll just, people look ask me a question, they'll look at me waiting for an answer. <laughs> I'll give it to them when I'm ready to give it to them. <laughs> A little read technique sometimes? Yeah. You know, a little read technique? That's part of what you got, police officers use, right? Yes. Okay, so um, you, you, you already should have known that this was coming. Oh, yeah, the new okay, box. But let's, let's like talk that? new box. Let's talk about that process. Let's talk about rebranding. You let the people decide on the rebranding, right? Yeah. We, that was that was for the people. Voting online, right? We had about 1,000 a thousand, a thousand people responded to that survey, and we came up with close to this box. I mean, this was like the one that won... But we obviously we tweaked it as it, as it went along in production. The whole line will look like that. A good place to see it is on Amazon right now. Our website's still kind of pieced in with the old bars. We got to turn over some inventory and stuff before all the packages get replaced. I haven't been giving away old stuff. The last old ones I gave away, the, the former brand, I gave away uh, Cleveland State when they just beat Kent State. That was I was like, hey, I can't yeah, give any more uh, of these away. I, I, I mean, it, we're doing it quick, actually. I mean, we're... We, nothing sits in our shop more than like two months. So, you know, soap, shelf life on soap is three years and up. So in terms of shelf life, we're turning over really fast, you know. When will you be completely shifted over? Because this is something that should take like six months to a year. Uh, You're be, doing it really quick. We'll be completely shifted over maybe three more weeks. Once okay. I, once I get my peppermint bars in, um, that'll be it. Uh, I, uh, that's the only thing that's kind of holding up. I got the oatmeal bars are shipped, are done. The original bars are done. I just had a PO of 75,000 peppermint bars out there that I, I had to change our work on and it got pushed back a little bit. But. Yeah, because I can't get some of the stuff. No. And I'm the guy who gets everything. Yeah, it's Everyone's like, when are you getting it? And I'm like, I, they don't have it. All of, our, all of our bottles, all of our labels for bottles are done. It's just, and that's because we do shorter runs. We do like 25,000 pieces there. When you start running, you know, 75,000, 100,000 pieces, it takes a little longer to run through that. 
so it takes a little longer. All your product is made in the United States, but packaging, a lot of that comes from China. Has this whole no, coronavirus no, affected you at all? The packaging comes from Canada. Canada, okay. Yeah. Um, and that's just one, just our boxes. Uh, our, all of our labels come from the United States. So everything's American made or it's North America? Yeah. I like that. Well, I like the soap dishes and stuff like that come from overseas. But That's that, not a big part of your inventory no, and product, though. Giveaway thing. Yeah, right. So when you look at the, even if you look at like the dishes, the the shaving dish and the shaving brush, that's made here, right? Uh, the shaving dishes come from overseas. That's, okay, so it doesn't really affect you if there's a outbreak of. We change them all the time, anyways. Always okay. Like a, but again, those are novelty pieces. Those are promotional pieces. It's not my brand. Your brand's American or yes. Canadian, it's, little it's, Canadian. It's American. Yeah. It's American, right? I mean, you, things get sourced from another country doesn't mean it's made in another country. The package is from another country. You do a pretty good job of staying all American, though. I like that. Because all the soap is actually New England, right? Uh, Vermont, yeah. Vermont, right? And even when you start with the, the small lady, now you've moved on to a bigger company, right? Yeah. The first lady is New England Moon Company. She was a great, great um, partner to start up with. But she made homemade bars of soap. 25 50 at a time, right? Yeah. No, you did. Yeah, about twenty five fifty at a time, and um, now we do seventy five thousand at a time, several times a year. So it's kind of hard to mix that on your stove. Okay, last <laughs> last thing. When is the move going to be complete? New warehouse. When am I not going to feel as tough and gritty anymore coming March, to Lakewood? March first will be the permit to occupy. Um, shell racking gets delivered. March 2nd, I think it takes a week to put the racking in, you know, for like the tow motors and all that stuff. We can store 180 skids in there. So it's a good size warehouse. Um, wrestling mats won't be in until after NCAAs. I'm talking to Res Light for whatever reason. They're, it'll be after NCAAs. So two full mats? Yeah, and it's only the one piece. Oh, you got one piece? Yeah, one piece. So each mat is its own piece. It's not, it's not two. Oh, okay, it's two mats. It's two mats, yeah. But, but not six pieces, two yeah. pieces. No, it's two pieces. Oh man, I'm pumped. I'm pumped. I'm really excited. And it's closer. It's like in between. It's like a pit stop for me to Oak Harbor. And they're, they're Res Light Classics. So we want the classic. Oh, uh, you didn't get the, the easy roll? No, no. Oh, it's, thank you. It's, it's a classic. I'm bag. not an easy roll guy. No, they're not. Nice. I'm a classic guy. These are really nice. Okay, all right. You got anything else for me? Well, it's kind of cool. I was talking to Res Light about that. They want to come and shoot their commercials in my room. Something like that. Yeah, that's a deal. You can come anytime you want. I like it. Uh, oh, State Duels. Are you going at all today? State duels I have. Oh no, Gus. Are you gonna got, buzz up or anything? No, Gus. I got I got maybe 20 kids in the afternoon session here. Um, Gus is over at the state duels, and then we got junior high state duels. We won grade school state duels. We're hoping to win junior high state duels, and hopefully St. Ed's ones, so we can have clean sweep and state duels. All right, I'm not, I don't want to break your heart, but you're. You're gonna have to give me that bar of soap oh, back. Because you you, you, you know what I do to people, right? You, you already know, I keep one on me. I always keep one on me. So, hey, thanks for the time. Good luck to you guys today. Thanks, Evan.